All right, everyone, welcome to the live reaction of the Will Smith apology that he dropped today a mere 12 hours ago, apologizing to the world for being publicly, relentlessly cucked for the last five years on the biggest platform imaginable. I'm kidding, of course. It's probably about the Oscars slap. I have yet to see a single second of this, but I came prepared. I got a little bowl of popcorn, and we got the Tez Macal with the Whiskey Rock, and we're ready to get right into it. It's been a minute. Over the last few months, I've been doing a lot of thinking and personal work. This is... I love that. You asked a lot of fair questions that I wanted to take some time to answer. Hold up. Did he do the breath? The classic YouTuber sigh? Hold the fuck. He is on brand with YouTuber apologies right now. Hold on. Yes, dude. He started. It wasn't on camera, so it wasn't like the full. If he says, I didn't want to make this video or I never thought I'd have to make this video, uh, I'm going to be head over heels. I know he's not going to because it, it would just be too perfect. But it's going to be fun to watch Will Smith, my personal favorite YouTuber, uh, apologize and kind of pit that up against some of the most all-time classic of YouTube apologies. Logan Paul's, T. Martin's, all the best. You know, you've seen him if you've been around YouTube for a minute. I've made a severe blast in my judgment. This looks very highly produced, of course. I would hope so. It would almost maybe be a little more authentic if he just, like, did it on his iPhone. But no, he's, like, went full studio mode. His whole fucking life's probably a studio, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? It was the same night. Um, I was fogged out by that point. <laughs> it's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris... Um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk. And when he is, huh. he will reach out. So Chris is still, I didn't know that. So Chris is still kind of chuffed all these months. Chuffed is the wrong. I think that's actually the opposite of what I mean to say. It's what happens when I try to use English slang. Chris is still pissed to the point where he doesn't want to talk to Will about it. I guess. I think he's joked about it. And he's also like Chris has done like uh some live comedy shows since then, quite a few, and I guess he gets pretty heated if people try to ask him about it. I remember, like, the first night, so I live in the Boston area, and, like, the weekend after it happened, his tour was in Boston, and he was doing, like, two or three nights in my city, and that shit was, like, selling out, and people were scalping tickets for outrageous amounts of money just because of the publicity that that Oscar slap gave him, and, like... There's video, like cell phone video of him just getting heckled and everyone like asking about it. And he was he was getting bullshit with good reason. The man just wants to put on a show and all ever, all anyone can talk about is this fucking slap heard around the world. Um, so I will I will say to you, um, Chris, I oh direct directly. apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable. And I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. A um, little, little bit of a public call out. So he's like, yeah, he just, first, he leads with like, yeah, Chris isn't willing to talk to me privately. So I'm just going to call him out on YouTube in front of millions of people. A little bit of a weird uh, strategy, but uh, we'll see if it works out for him in the fourth quarter. I, I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I saw an <laughs> interview that Chris's mother did. And, you know, that was one of the things about that moment. I just didn't realize and, you know, I wasn't thinking, but how many people got hurt in that moment. So I want to uh, apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize to. Uh, I mean, Chris is the only one that get physically hurt, dude. How can you get hurt by a slap? If you're not the one getting slapped, just turn the TV off, bro. Can only imagine the heartache and the trauma that everyone went through. I'm being a bit facetious, of course. The overreactions were absolutely amazing on Twitter. The hot takes were just magma hot lava. It was like volcano eruptions everywhere you looked. Chris's family, uh, specifically Tony Rock, you know, we had a great relationship. You know, Tony Not Rock anymore. was my man. Um, and uh, this, this, is, this is probably irreparable. Um, I spent the last three months um, replaying and understanding the nuances and, and the complexities of what happened in, in that moment. Um, 
And I'm not sure that there was a whole lot of nuance going on. The man talks shit about your wife. You had a lot of pent up aggression because she's been cucking you for that better half of a decade. And you went up on stage and took it out on a comedian telling a joke. Seemed pretty straightforward to me. Maybe there's a little more nuance than, uh, than I know of, because clearly I'm not as close to the situation as, as Will is. But uh, <laughs> the seriousness, like, it, my my original stance was like, oh, comedians make jokes, they're allowed to be. I think comedians can say whatever they want, especially ones that have, you know, done done their time and their years and they're heralded as people who are talented comedians. You're allowed to joke, take, you know, take the piss out of people. Um and absolutely was insane how Will responded to that joke, I would say. The the worst the, the worst part about it for Will, I think, that like not only has he been cocked by his woman for like however many years, the one moment of chivalry he has in front of the entire world where he goes to like stick up for his woman because a comedian made a joke about her, slaps the comedian after making a joke, which is unheard of typically and it's like it's funny if you don't really care about it but when you think of the larger implications it's kind of insane and then she stays radio silent and when she finally breaks her silence he gets cucked again she couldn't have at least been like man it was so charming to see him so fired up to go stick up for me like that she just like didn't say shit and then was like yeah i really wish he didn't do that <laughs> Which, I mean, the guy, the guy can't catch a break. Jesus Christ, give the man, uh, throw the man a bone. Lord almighty, he's just get. oh. I feel for the man. I mean, this is the, this is my childhood idol. Independence Day, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, the absolute baddest G of all time, turned into my favorite YouTuber, now just a walking shell of himself because his woman has just drained the absolute vitality out of him in front of the whole world. You hate to see it. I'm not gonna try to unpack all of that right now, but I can say to all of you, there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. Probably There's correct. There's no part of me that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or, or insults. After Jada rolled her eyes, did she tell you oh, to do yeah. something? Doing a Q and A, I love no. it. No, um, <laughs> it's like, you know, I'm I made a choice on my own from my own experiences, from my history with Chris. Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Oh. Um, Apologize so sorry to, to my, my kids and, and my family for the heat that I brought on all of us. Um, to all my fellow nominees, uh -huh. you know, this is a community. It's like I won because you, you voted for me. And it, it, it really breaks my heart to have stolen and, and tarnished, tarnished your moment. I mean, let's be completely honest for a second. All right. Large production television award ceremonies are like lassie. I mean, they are on their last fucking leg getting ready to be taken out behind the shed and shot with a rifle, okay? No one gives a shit about these things anymore. Everyone's too busy on their phones on TikTok and YouTube, and we have the attention span of a fucking goldfish. So this slap kind of made the Oscars relevant for a few minutes. So honestly... I, I, mean, I believe he got banned for life, which is insane. They should invite him back, like, and make him VIP because it, it probably was the highest earning Oscars of the last 50 years, quite frankly. But, you know, these old, these old white in charge of the Oscars, they're all, it's all about, like, respect and tradition and a uh, uh, little stuffy back in those offices, I imagine. But, uh, you know, I don't pretend to know Will's situation. I've only loosely kind of followed it throughout the years. I, I It kind of started with the, the red table talks when, like, Will and Jada started doing these, like, very open relationship, like, interviews with each other. And it just felt like he, like... If you've watched him, you know, like, it's just like, it's basically her being like, yeah, I've been banging this other dude for all these years because I needed to discover myself. And Will's just kind of sitting there like, 
Huh. But listen, everyone's relationship is their own, and I don't pretend to know what they're all about. But it feels like that slap was like the just like the pin that popped the balloon of just a mountain of repressed like anger and resentment that's been building over years, and he just chose to pop the balloon on the most public stage imaginable. That's Chris Rock, not Will. I can still see Quest Love's eyes. You know, it it happened on Quest Love's. Uh, award and you know <laughs> it's Amazing. like I'm 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 sorry really isn't sufficient blowjob perhaps what would you say to the people who looked up to you before the slap or people who expressed that you let them down um love the Q&A style apology it's all right so there's two things one um Disappointing people is my central trauma. Uh Um, I hate when I let people down. Um, So it it hurts. Uh, It hurts me psychologically and emotionally to know I didn't live up to uh, people's image and impression of me. And The work I'm trying to do is I am deeply remorseful and I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself. Right. I'm a human Mm. and Mm -hmm. I made a mistake and debatable. I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit. Um, I mean, welcome to being a human being, my friend. I just, I wake up every day and I'm like, you're not, you're not a piece of shit. You're worthy. You're powerful. You're strong. You deserve good things in your life. And then I fall asleep with tears in my eyes thinking I'm a piece of shit. I mean, that's just the human experience, isn't it? I just, I don't, it seems pretty natural. Side note, well-spoken enough. You know, I, I mean, this, this is a charismatic man. In my opinion, Will Smith is, as far as Hollywood level uh talent goes like one of the good ones you know he's always just seemed like a really decent guy um say what you want about his relationship with his wife like that's nobody's business but his obviously i joke about it but i i do think he's probably genuinely in turmoil because he seems like the type that's a people pleaser he's been an entertainer his whole life since he was a kid he's good at what he does to kind of get the backlash that he did was probably very uh unnerving and kind of up uprooted his life quite dramatically so to you and me watching this like it doesn't affect us we don't care we can laugh about it we can joke about it but in will's world that he's constructed and the people around him and how he sees the world in his brain this was probably like apocalyptic for him to do something this traumatic for the world so so when you and i are on twitter and we see this we're like holy fuck this is hilarious this is entertainment this is great We fall asleep that night, forget about it the next day. This dude's been stewing over this thing for fucking, how many months has it been? And he's finally talking publicly. He's been been that torn up about it, four months. Poor bastard, man. I hope the apology gives him a little bit of resolve, you know, in his soul. Because he just seems like a good dude. I don't want him to feel too torn up. It's like, bro, you made a shitty decision. It was kind of hilarious. It's kind of weird that Chris won't talk to you still four months later. I guess at at this level of celebrity, there's probably like a big piece of like disrespect that plays into this, right? So it's very serious for them. But for us pleb viewers, it's just another thing to take our mind off of our shitty lives. So I would say to those people, I know it was confusing. I know it was shocking. I was not confused at all. Um, But I I, I I promise you... I am uh, deeply devoted and committed to, to working on yourself and love okay. and joy into the world. Very and, nice. And you know, if you if you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again. I'm hanging. You, you listen. You know, you never fell out of favor with me, Will. Chris either. Thought what you did was a little banged up, but we've been friends. From the get. So if you want to get up on like a YouTube collab, bro, I'm here, buddy. I can get you back in the good graces with like, you know, 
couple thousand people <laughs> watch my YouTube videos. But you know what I'm saying? Every person counts. Chip away at it. Start with a Leon Lush collab. Work your way up. Um, eventually do something with like PewDiePie. You can do a live stream with Ludwig or fucking Hasanabi or, you know, play some Warzone with Nick Merckx. Just slowly kind of chip away at the Redemption Tour. Let me be your stepping stone, Will. I never unfriended you in my mind. You've always been my best friend, even after the slap. Yes, I cried, okay? Yes, I didn't eat for five days. Devastated. Couldn't even look my wife in the face. But I got over it because I care about you and I love you. And I think the best thing that you could possibly do to start your redemption tour is just do a collab with Leon Lush. It's very easy. It's very easy. Just DM my uh, manager, Nigel, and we'll set it up. Super simple. <laughs>